Joseph, if you know the story of Joseph, he, uh, he was rejected by his brothers. Uh, they, they kind of, he was a favorite son. They didn't like that. They were jealous of him. They uh, sold him as a slave in Egypt. He worked for Potiphar. He was actually put in prison for something he didn't do. He was in prison, and then out of prison, he was actually uh, taken from the prison to the palace, so to speak, that he became vice president of Egypt just in one day. Kind of a, an amazing, amazing story. Well, out of that, then the uh, Pharaoh that was ruling Egypt that time, he gave him his daughter as his wife. And so he married the Pharaoh's daughter, and he had two sons out of that wedlock. He had Manasseh, and he had Ephraim. And so he had these, these two boys. And so in Genesis chapter 48, we, uh, we find that um, Joseph's father, Jacob, which is kind of the patriarch of Israel, all the 12 tribes of Israel come out of, of, of Jacob, that he is um, about ready to pass on. And so he wants to bless his family. You'll find that is starting in Genesis 48. And so he starts with Joseph. And he said, now, Joseph, I want you to bring your two boys in here, and I'm going to do something that, uh, that is kind of out of the ordinary. I'm going to adopt these two boys of yours that are actually naturally his grandchildren. I'm going to adopt them as my own. These two boys, Manasseh and Ephraim, they are going to become my children. And I'm going to bless them as if they were my children. If you know anything about the 12 tribes of Israel, Manasseh and Ephraim are listed there, but they weren't. Uh, Jacob's sons, they were his grandsons naturally, but he brought them in and said, no, now they're my sons. And so the time for the blessing to came, come, uh, came, get this straight. And so uh, Joseph brings his boys in, and since Manasseh is the oldest, then he sets Manasseh on the right side for the right hand blessing of the firstborn. And then he sets Ephraim on the left for the left blessing. Now, I want you to know an important detail before we get back to that. That when these boys were born, Manasseh means God has made me forget my troubles in my father's household. That's what that Manasseh means. His firstborn, because Joseph had a lot of trouble within his family. And God just redeemed all of it. And so he named his firstborn after that fact, he, he gave a memorial, in a sense, of his son, of remembering the fact that God had enabled him to forget all of his family troubles that had come against him. When Ephraim was born, his name was, means, twice fruitful in a land of suffering. It means double blessed in a barren land. That's what it means. And so here these boys are coming in, and they're getting ready to be blessed by Jacob, and so uh, he lines them up, and Jacob does this weird thing. He actually takes his right hand that should have been upon the firstborn to get the birthright. If you understand the birthright, the birthright means double blessing. Why, do, why does the firstborn get a double blessing? Because they needed it. Because they were, not, they were responsible for not only their own family, but they were responsible for the rest of the family when the father died. That's why the firstborn got the double blessing. And so uh, Joseph is thinking in his mind, okay, these boys are coming in, and grandfather, now their father is getting ready to bless them. But instead, Jacob crosses his hands, and he puts the double blessing hand on the younger, and he takes his left hand and puts it on the firstborn, and he begins to pray. And Joseph opens up his eyes in the middle of that prayer, and he says, Dad's lost his mind. He is totally wrecked. Man, what is going on here? And he actually starts pulling the right hand off the younger to get it on. He tries to, and, and Jacob, man, he comes to, he says, stop. He says, this is what the Lord has told me to do. That the younger is going to be more prominent than the older. The double blessing is going to be more prominent on the younger than the firstborn. And that's the way God wanted it. Now, if you trail those two guys out, you'll, you'll know that that came true. But that's really not the focus of my story. Some of you have already gotten the revelation, but let me turn it this way. Do you see this? Jacob 
crossed his hands. And instead of saying, forget first, then get the blessing, he said, I want to bless you first. I want to give you a double blessing. And then as a result of the double blessing in your life, you didn't think you deserved it. You thought you were the least born and the worst born and the outcast. But Jesus said, no, I've crossed over of what you thought you could get, and I'm going to double bless you, and then you're going to be empowered to release all those things in your life, the curses that have been embedded in your life, the way your family has treated you, the way others have treated you, the way the church has treated you. I have crossed over, and I have I am planted in you double blessing this morning, and as a result of that, you're going to release all the other that's been embedded in your life. And so Jacob portrayed the cross of what you and I receive from Jesus when we realize it. He wants to bless us first. And then we're empowered to make the change.